Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Students, today we will start our third part of the chapter, Meat, Fish and Poetry. So let's begin. Let's have a look on the pigments, the two basic pigments which are responsible for meat color. One is hemoglobin. It is a large iron containing compound consisting of four hem polypeptide polymers linked together that contributes to meat color. It contains four pyrrole rings linked covalently to form a large complex that is joined to a central atom of iron by attachment to the nitrogen atom in each of the pyrrole rings. The central iron atom can combine with atoms compound to form new complex compound. These new compounds are responsible for color alteration in meat. Other changes in color occur due to the change in iron atom. So in the figure, we can see the iron atom in the center of heme that can complex with other atoms or other compounds. And by doing that, it forms a new compound. Hemoglobin is one of the main constituents of the blood. While Myoglobin is a purplish red pigment consisting of heme containing ferrous iron and a polypeptide polymer, which is globin. In contrast to hemoglobin, myoglobin has only one strand of protein polymer. It is a predominant pigment and contributes about three times as much color as does hemoglobin in meat. It is purplish red in color because the iron is in ferrous state and free of additional atoms and compounds. For example, when fresh meat is protected from air, it exhibits purplish red color of myoglobin because it is deoxygenized iron compound. So, actually the myoglobin and hemoglobin are closely related chemically because they both contain iron containing pigments with him as the common compound and the only difference is that in their protein component. In the presence of air, myoglobin readily adds two atoms of oxygen to form a new compound which is known, in, known as oxymyoglobin. Oxymyoglobin is a cherry red form of myoglobin which is formed by the addition of two oxygen atoms. It is responsible for the intense red color that can be seen on the surface of the meat which is exposed to the air for a while. While the availability of an abundance of oxygen favors the formation of oxymyoglobin and ensures that meat will have a pleasing bright red color. The use of plastic wrap permeable to oxygen for packaging cricket meats helps ensure that cuts will have the bright red color of oxymyoglobin that appears to consumers which can be seen in the shops that are selling meats with the cling wraps that are um, that appeals the customer that freshness of the meat can be seen through. 
in the oxygen supply available to myoglobin is rather limited or meat is exposed to fluorescent light for too long. A brownish red pigment forms, which is known as metmyoglobin. This is considered to be as less desirable color that results from oxidation of the iron atom to ferric state and complexing of a molecule of water. Methmyoglobin can be reduced back to myoglobin. Depending on the environment, myoglobin pigments may be converted between oxymyoglobin, myoglobin, and methmyoglobin. The following scheme on the screen, you can see how these three can be reversible and converted to another form. Myoglobin is in, it stays in the ferrous state and when it gets oxidized, it changes into the ferric state. So in contrast to red color of various animal meat, fish and poultry generally they are pigmented quite lightly. Hemoglobin contributes to the light coloration in poultry. Changes affected by heating, which we witness in our daily lives as we cook the meat, it changes its color as well as its physical state. So when we cook meat, the changes in the pigment occurs. What happens? Myoglobin first changes to oxymyoglobin. Then on continued heating, it is converted to denatured globin hemochrome, which is grayish brown in color. You can see that in the figure I have given in my slide. Simply, the ferrous state is changed into the ferric state and oxygen is replaced by water. So heating enhances the light color of fish by increasing opacity, but this is not a dramatic change. For different aquatic animals, the change may vary from one type to the other type. While sometimes in poultry it has been subjected, when it is subjected to intense heat during preparation, it develops a reddish pink color. This is the result of hemoglobin reacting with carbon monoxide and nitric oxide, which is generated by an electric heating element or flames when it is barbecuing. Changes affected by curing. What is cure? When meat is treated with either nitrates or nitrites to preserve for longer storage is known as meat curing. What happens during this process the myoglobin get, gets in contact with nitrites or nitrates and changes into nitric oxide myoglobin. And the color changes from purple red to red. Here, the state of iron remains state, same as ferrous. Then, if the heating continues, what happens when it is heated? What happens? The denatured globin form, which is known as nitrosyl hemochrome, which is pink in color. Upon oxidation in the presence of light and air, it changes into denatured nitrosyl hemochrome, which is brown in color. And the State of iron from ferrous ultimately changes into the ferric state. Factors affecting quality of meat. Number one is maturity. The physical changes that occur from the time an animal is born until it is slaughtered affect the characteristics of the resulting meat. Young animals have a comparatively low ratio of lean to bone. They also have a relatively large amount of connective tissue and little fat. These characteristics can be seen in veal, which are 
not more than three months old. The increased fat content of mature animals influences the flavor of the meat and contributes to apparent juiciness, which is an important contribution because moisture content decreases. Connective tissue within lean tissue increases in total amount as an animal matures. This de decrease in tenderness may result from increased formation of cross linkages between the fibers of collagen with the lean muscle as the animal matures and grows older. So as an animal ages, beef flavor undergo change. The color of the uncooked flesh gradually becomes redder and sometimes darker. The pH of muscle also may decrease. Differences from one carcass to another make information regardless regarding chains that caused by maturation difficult to vary. The second factor that may affect the quality of meat is the post-mortem changes. Post-mortem changes are biochemical processes in a meat of an animal that continues several hours after the meat is being slaughtered. The level of glycogen stored in animal at the time of slaughter is paramount in determining the onset of rigor mortis and, get, and yet it is the key palatability factor in the meat when it is ready to market it. What is rigor mortis? It is a temporary rigidity of muscles that develops after death of an animal. Glycogen is important <clears throat> because carbohydrate undergoes chemical degradation to produce lactic acid after slaughter. This post-mortem lactic acid production occurs if the animal is in a rested comparatively calm state at the time of slaughter. However, stress and exercise just prior to slaughter reduce the glycogen levels in the animal, which limits the amount of lactic acid that is formed post-mortem. The pH reach during rigor mortis is about at the isoelectric point of the proteins which causes the fibers to tend to pack together and force out some of the water. Moisture level in meat is important because of its influence on the juiciness of the cooked cook products. Rigor mortis does occur in fish as well. After an hour being killed, altogether onset point may delay as much as 7 hours. Rigor mortis is extended in fish if they are iced as soon as they are killed. Bacterial spoilage commences only after the rigor mortis has passed, so the fish remains fresh for a week because of the extended time. Some muscles need to be aged 11 days before achieving maximum tenderness. During this aging period, some measures are important to keep the meat from microbiologically unsafe or too dry. These are ultraviolet light to control the growth of microorganisms, control humidity of 7% and a temperature just above freezing. Beef may be held at a temperature of 16 degrees Celsius for between 16 and 20 hours after slaughter before being aged at 2 degrees Celsius to promote tenderness. Cold shortening is the result of the rapid chilling of animal immediately after they are being slaughtered before the glycogen in the muscle has been converted to lactic acid. This shortening of muscle length varies from one muscle to another muscle and also it is influenced by whether or not the muscle is attached to a bone which restricts contraction somewhat. Holding of meat while it passes through rigor mortis and sometimes for a period extending several days or even two weeks, depending on the quality and type of the animal, storage of meat to 
enhance the tenderness. Means the aging of meat actually is for the good so that meat get tenderized, especially in the case of beef. Tenderness also is enhanced by carefully hanging uh, the animal so that the muscles are stretched beyond their normal, resulting state prior to the onset of rigor. That is why the animal is always hanged once they are slaughtered. The color of the beef can be influenced by the pH reached in the animal, which is a reflection of glycogen stores at the time of slaughter. During the aging period, as the animal passes through rigor mortis. In case of beef, a final pH of about 6.6 .6 is accompanied by the presence of a very deep red, almost black color in the flesh and sticky, rather slimy feeling. Such beef is called dark cutting beef. 